the question, the poll question is, have you watched my video called Charles Speaks? Well, the title, the thumbnail says that Charles Speaks from over a year ago. 60% of you said yes. 40% uh, of you said no. It's jumping a little bit. But to the 40% of so of you, that's a, it's a video you might want to check out. I should have thought about putting it in the link below. I'll try to do it doing one of these videos if I remember. But anyway, so it's a video I did and it was to date to this day. It is the highest viewed video that I have on this channel. Shocking that my video on Charles Crenshaw is my highest viewed video on this entire channel. And we I have a 300 and I don't know, 30 videos or something on this channel. And Charles, the video on Charles Crenshaw from Welcome to Sweetie Pies is the highest. Not the Tim Norman trial, not the live streams we did that had 7,000 people in the chat. Not that, but Charles Crenshaw. Y'all love y'all some Charles. Uh, thank you so much, D-Baby, for the super sticker. Appreciate you. Yeah, so I was like, obviously, if I'm going to talk about the Sweetie Pies family, I must absolutely cover the person who, obviously, people were very interested in knowing what is happening with them. So I, with Charles, I kind of I watch Charles from the bushes. I want him to know that because I want him to block me. Charles, I think he okay with me, but I'm not sure because in court, he 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 would look hard at me like I knew he knew. Like he knew like that's a YouTuber. But it wasn't shady, but it also wasn't like a friendly nod or anything. It was more like I'm watching you kind of thing. Ooh, what you might be saying about me later or something. It was more like that. But I, I haven't dogged Charles. I like Charles. I love Charles. Okay, anyway, so... We have Charles. And so I watch Charles from the bushes and he'll post. He doesn't post often at all. Um, but occasionally when he does post, you know, I see it. Usually I archive it because you never know when we're going to, you know, something's going to need to be talked about or y'all be interested. But Charles has just been living his life. It seems like on Juneteenth or around Juneteenth, he was um, I think he was at Bush Garden, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but he was at a zoo. And um, he was playing with the birds and feeding the goats. And then earlier this year, he was in Aspen with his friends. I, I did not pull the pictures of his friends, but he has pictures on there of his friends. But um, they're not celebrities or public figures, so I, I'm not putting them out there like that. But anyway, it says uh, he ended up putting a caption with this particular post and it had this picture and like three or four other pictures. And it was him and his friends, a group of uh, them in a group, him with a girl and them just kind of hanging out. You could tell. Uh, he says, I miss you guys so much. Uh, I don't see them often, but when I do, there's never a dull moment. Oh, and I learned how to ski. So he went to Aspen and learned how to ski. He has a ve very diverse group of friends with him being the melanated one. Say best way I can without saying too much. Okay, so that's that. So that's on Charles. That's all. Nothing major, nothing major. And that's a little bit of why I didn't ever do a separate video on it. Now, if you go back and watch that video I did on him before, he actually speaks on the Tim situation. That's why I titled it or put on a thumbnail, Charles Speaks, because he said something that gave people an idea of how he feels about the situation. Uh, and also there was the guy who was flirting with him the whole time. Everybody caught that. Everybody caught that. So many comments under there talking about uh, how the guy was obviously caking hard for Charles. But Charles is definitely a handsome, uh, a handsome young man. Oh, question I had was, have you been wondering what Charles has been up to lately? 83% of you have been. So again, I'm glad I pulled it, pulled it out. So the, the post that actually sparked me to even say, I think it's time for a Sweetie Pie's family, overall family update, was this post that Janae um did what was it i don't even had a date here but it was uh five weeks ago so whenever five weeks ago was <laughs> posted a picture of herself and i had some people send send this to me i had saw it on social media but they sent it to me as well and so i had a catalog like okay it's time to do a sweetie pies update but it was the family there and if i don't know how well you can see but it is janae Janae's mom, Janae's youngest son, you got um, TJ, you got Miss Robbie, and that's great news. Some of you know why this would be great news. Uh, then some little kids I don't know. We got Janice, we got a cousin who I think looks familiar, but maybe I saw her in court or something. But And then we got Linda, and then we got Naya, 
uh, who is Monique's daughter. And then we have, um, on the end, the man is uh, J Janae's husband. I forgot his name. What's his name, y'all? I never really committed his name to memory. Yeah, so they were all gathered together for Timmy's uh, 12th birthday. And the great part is some people were wondering, did Janae and Miss Robbie ever make amends? Because they fell out in 2020, August, what was it, Ju June or July of 2020, over Tim's antics, basically. Because when you look at it, Tim just is full of tricks and stunts. And, you know, they were on social media fighting and all of that. And so it's good to see that, obviously, they have made amends. You know, with her, Miss Robbie being older and all of that, it was like you definitely were hoping that they were able to, you know, squash that. And I never saw Janae was never at court or anything. I didn't think it was a reason for her to be. People was like, oh, what Janae going to say when she testified? I'm like, Jan Janae ain't got to testify. She ain't got nothing to do with this. So, no, Janae never testified, never came. She's probably like, I told y'all. <laughs> but also on the on the um topic of. TJ, she also posted a caption where she said, under underneath that photo, she says, happy 12th birthday to my sweet boy, Timmy. Your kindness is going to take you so many unbelievable places in life. God knew exactly what I needed when he blessed me with you. And every day you continue to amaze me. You are something special, my little miracle baby. God showed out when he made you. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet from the mama. So I don't know how many of you remember the episode or episodes, because this it was a few episodes. It was part of the, almost the whole season, I think, when TJ was born and he was unfortunately born premature, uh, six months premature, if I'm not mistaken, where Janae went in for a doctor's visit checkup, pregnancy checkup, and ended up finding out that she needed to have like an emergency C-section or something to that effect and ended up in the hospital from that day that she was thought she was just going for a doctor visit all the way for six months. She was in that hospital and she was not leaving her baby's side. Yes, he was a fighter. I'm no, just noticing Trikeisha's statement. Yes, he was a fighter. Um, yeah, it was amazing watching him go from, I mean, he was little, little, like holding the palm of your hand little. So for those of you who don't know that, but Yes, that those that's how we got so attached to that family. Like we we watched them go through all of these stages when we didn't know Tim was an evil monster. We watched him supposedly we thought be in love with a uh, a, a a young lady who was you know Janae. Janae seeing, you know they getting there building their life together, and uh, it was just a whole thing. The mom and and them getting into business. It was just it just was inspiring and all of that. And then we find out it's just the devil, the devil. So anyway, she also posted a few pictures that I'll just share here. She posted his first birthday party plugger. And if I'm not mistaken, y'all correct me in the chat if I'm wrong, but I think this was the birthday party that Tim didn't show up to. And they the power went out. I think they were having it at Miss Robbie's house, if I'm not mistaken. The power went out during the baby shower and it was out for a couple hours. But Tim was so busy at talking about he had to work at the restaurants and stuff that he didn't even come to his own son's first birthday party. Didn't even roll through. I mean, those, it was a lot of signs y'all. It was a lot of signs for her and us. A lot of signs. Uh, yeah. I felt bad for Janae as a mother. I can only imagine what she was going through. Yes. And then on top of that, you know, Tim wouldn't, wouldn't hold TJ. He wouldn't touch him for months. And then when he finally did, he so I was like, OK, he's he's a narcissist. When he finally did touch uh, pick up TJ, he only did it when Janae wasn't around because he, he's like, I'm not going to basically give her the gratification of her seeing this because she's been trying to get me to do it. Like what? Craziness. And I don't know, it could have been done for the show, too. I'm sure it probably was scripted. But the fact that even he was he was a writer, the head writer of the show. So for him to even want to put that in there says a lot. Uh, so that's TJ, you know, somewhere around one or two years old. Then we have here, he looked like he under one here, maybe, or right at one years old. 
And then this is him with, you know, Janae. And they're obviously at the upper crust location that is defunct and no longer in existence. Have they toured? Um, those are my people who are from St. Louis. Have they torn down the upper crust location yet? I'm very curious. I honestly would, would, would like to be there for that. But and not like because I'm celebrating that it's being torn down, but just to see it like because it's got memories and stuff. And I've been there a few times. Oh, uh, Linda Taylor saying not yet. Part of me would like to be there, but I'm not going to I'm not going to travel all the way to St. Louis just to watch the building get towed down. But, it, you know, <laughs> I know they tore down. What was it? The theater next to it or whatever. That's gone. And I didn't even notice that until I was watching some of my footage from the last time I was there and I recorded in that area. And I was like, wait a minute. It was a building next to this. Yeah. Uh, and then this is TJ not too long ago, a year or so ago, I think. Maybe a little maybe a little longer than that. I, th I forgot what year this was, but because I've seen this picture before. It's been more than a year because this is him currently. He is definitely a big boy. Definitely. He's kind of starting to look somewhat like a little teenager. So that is our TJ. Also, did did you all know that um, I don't know how many I mean, all, it looks like all of us are super fans. This is what I'm what I'm gathering, but I'm I'm gonna put it in this chat anyway. Uh, did you know that Janae also had uh, another son uh, after she had TJ or Timmy or Lil Tim, whatever you want to call him? Did you know that she also she had another son? So I don't know the other. I forget. I did. Is his name AJ? And what did y'all say? I, it's probably starred. I hope it's starred. The name of her husband, because I, I didn't catch it. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that, uh, Cheryl, because I didn't mention it. So Tim actually has two sons. He has TJ, who is his oldest. And then he had a son with his last girlfriend. That son, y'all, how old would that son be um, now, to your knowledge, from your remembrance? Is it two or three? Maybe three going on four? Something like that. Maybe three. Two or... Th now, if he... Because it seemed like that son was born right before he went to jail, maybe? Four. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Majestic. That's, that's like... Oh, some people saying about five. So between four and five, depending on when... The, oh, what's somebody saying? Three. <laughs> between three to five. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> it's quite a range, but between three and five. <laughs> And this is um, family picture. Also, I wanted to know, because I had forgot this. I thought I didn't know this. And I was talking to, again, the people who were hanging out with me today as I as a, our live work with me all day session. And they had to stay with me all day. They just were in and out and all that good stuff. But did you know that Janae and her family has a YouTube channel? Uh, currently it's up um they haven't posted in in a year but did you know okay yes uh thank you tiffany j uh yes aj is short for art jr okay art what's his name art is the husband's name but yes did you know that they had a youtube channel and i was like uh, i forgot i don't know if it was you tiffany or i think it was shanice who said it was like oh yeah and they have a youtube channel called the meet the shivers and i went to it and I was like, I didn't know this. I went to it and then I was already subscribed. I was like, oops, I forgot. <laughs> I just forgot. I was. I guess I subscribed when I found out and never thought about it again, never watched the video. But um, but yes, they do have a YouTube channel if you wanted to go over there and be nosy. <laughs> like, I, like I am later uh, now that I remember. Um, but if you want to go over there and be nosy, it's called Meet the Shivers. They have not posted in a year, but there are some videos over there. Uh, yes, Jan uh, explore. Janae looks amazing. She looks ama amazing. Absolutely. It's, am it's amazing what um, when you get rid of dead weight, literally <laughs> what your what your whole body, mind and spirit starts to look like. OK, then I got a little little video. Uh, it's got music on it, so I'm not going to uh, I'm going to let a second of the music play. Let me put this in a poll first though. So this is Janae. So this is her hanging out with her friend. And as I was watching this, uh, I said, oh, I know. I recognize this friend. This was, uh, and it looks like the majority of you do not remember or recognize this friend, but you may remember this scene that the friend was in. 
So do y'all remember the scene where Janae is in the new house that Tim bought that she wouldn't let him move in? <laughs> I love that part of the story. The new house that he bought that she wouldn't let him move in. And she was in the kitchen with her with Monique and one of her friends. And Janae was sitting on the counter. She's crying. She's like, I've uprooted my life. I moved here. I don't have family here. You know, I came here for him and he sold me a dream and, you know, basically like, you know, uh, telling me a dream of helicopter rides and all of this stuff and life was going to be great. And he got me out here bad. She's crying. She's upset. And they were basically this friend particularly was like, you you got to leave when you're ready kind of stuff. So they were coaching her. But I don't know if y'all remember uh, Psychology East says uh, she remembers it, too. Yes. Trakeisha, Trakeisha is saying that she remembers as well. Yeah, I see a few of y'all saying y'all remember. So this is the friend who was in that scene. And she's she's uh, aging very well. Like, she's beautiful. Then we move on to, I called her the star of the show in my video. And somebody corrected me. Th this is a good poll question. This is a good poll question. Because I don't know what shows up. I mean, you know, I got like 3,000 videos on them and with the credits and everything. But I ain't really paid attention to who's the star of the show. So is Miss Robbie, or was, I should say, I could have left that long. But anyway, was Miss Robbie the star of the show, of the show? And I, I mean, no, I'm not looking for nobody to side with me. But I, I just said it. I didn't really think it through and or pay attention to the, the credits. I know that Tim created the um, show. I know he's the head writer. I know all of that. I know I get all that. But to me, it was her show. It was like, she's a star. But um, somebody was like, uh, Miss Robbie is not the star of the show. I was like, oops, okay. <laughs> I don't quite agree. I mean, I see what you're saying. If you're looking at it on paper, maybe it might say star and James, Timothy Norman, or Tim Norman. But yeah, I'm like, without her, there's no show. <laughs> so that makes her the star of me. I know what your contracts say, because you did come up with the idea. But without your mama and her her restaurants and her history as being an Ike at, you ain't got nothing, buddy. So she the star. Uh, Majestic is saying Charles was. Yes. It, yes. Yes. Charles was in certain seasons. I think, I think, I think honestly, the stars of the show changed over the seasons however miss robbie was an undertone of being the star with the except exception of to i say towards the later seasons when he when he moved to la and started opening up all those restaurants under her name and, and which she didn't want him to i think with the exception of that uh she was the star but like she kind of wasn't on the show as much the last couple seasons uh, anyway, was okay. So 76% of you agree with me. That's why I was like, I felt so attacked. And I'm like, you act like I'm just totally incorrect. And yeah, okay, whatever. Teachers on, I mean, believe what you want to believe, but without her, there's no show. Um, so update on Miss Robbie. 